and welcome to the Egg Harbor City Community School Class of 2020 Commencement Ceremony. We are here to honor all students. I welcome all students, parents, family and friends, teachers to this video ceremony. For the first time ever, students throughout our country are having to virtually graduate due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I want you to know how very sorry I am for all students, but especially for community school students, that you have to celebrate this milestone at home. The COVID-19 virus has given you an eighth grade graduation that you will never forget. Please know you are graduating eighth grade in a very unique and historic time. A time that really no one could have possibly imagined just a few short months ago. But nevertheless, you did it. You Zoomed, you entered Google Classrooms, you emailed with your teachers, you communicated through Class Dojo. I would imagine sometimes even some of the teachers called and woke you up, but you got it done. And you are now graduating eighth grade. I know your friends helped you. I know your parents helped you as you had to maneuver distance learning and learning through a Chromebook computer. But as you leave the community school and look towards your high school, uh, high school years, I know there's a lot of uncertainty, not just with you, but, but with everyone. So I ask you eighth graders and, and really everyone who's watching this to know that everything's going to be okay to be brave, to be con con uh, courageous, and know that we just need to be kind to one another, look out for one another as we go through this difficult time. Our virtual graduation ceremony tonight is going to proceed much like as if we were in person uh, doing it live in the Gilly Gymnasium as we have done every year since this school opened. You will hear from the uh, teacher of the year from the community school, Mr. Wyra. You will hear from the salutatorian of the class of 2020, Grace White. You'll hear from the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Rowan Alwyn. You'll also hear from the Egg Harbor City Public School Superintendent, Mrs. Shulby, as well as some special guests and from community school faculty and staff. Many of you within this program will be honored during the awards presentation segment of the program. Awards that you have earned through your hard work and dedication throughout your time here at the community school. So let's begin our program. At this time, I would ask everyone to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Brown, your state senator, and I wanna congratulate you all the students and all the parents from Egg Harbor City Community School for a job well done. You are great Americans in our future. I hope now you will join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. God bless all of you, and God bless America.
those who don't know me, my name is Mr. Wyra, and it was my privilege to be named the 2020 Egg Harbor City Community School Teacher of the Year. Let me start off by thanking the Board of Education, Superintendent Adrian Shelby, Principal Jack Griffith, Administration, the Child Study Team, and my fellow teachers. I also want to thank the parents and guardians who have worked so hard over the years to raise, guide, and teach the graduating class. During these unprecedented times, we have been taught new terms such as social distancing, flattening the curve, drive-by birthday parties, and now virtual graduation. There's one word that is not new to us, and that is perseverance. How do we achieve success despite difficulty or delay? Well, the answer is inside of us. It is something that we have always done. Everyone watching this has had to overcome adversity, whether it was academically, professionally, or socially. We make it down, hang our heads, feel sorry for ourselves, but we rise above. We find our strength and realize we have the ability to overcome any obstacles in front of us. So during these times, when things feel tenuous, I like to think back to a previous student who used to love the artist Khalid. One song in particular was Let's Go. And the lyrics went, this is the start of something great. We might be a little late, hey, but we are on our way. Soon you'll be in high school, on the court, field, or in the stands cheering on your team. The band room will be blasting music and you'll meet new and exciting friends in clubs and in the classroom. You will discover new teachers and counselors that you can trust, that will challenge you academically and lighten your spirits when times are tough. I've gotten to know some of you pretty well the past five years, and I can speak for the community school teachers in saying that you will be missed. The current circumstances aren't fair. You have worked very hard and you do deserve a proper graduation. With that being said, this will only make you stronger and further your perseverance. On behalf of the Egg Harbor City staff, administration, and Board of Education, we wish you all the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. And I will now turn it over to the salutatorian, Grace White. Thank you. Welcome members of the Board of Education, administrators, invited guests, and fellow graduates of the class of 2020. As you can imagine, when I found out that I had the honor of being salutatorian, I was overjoyed and shocked all at once. Throughout this entire school year, I was sure that I wouldn't be able to keep up with all the other brilliant students in this year's amazing graduating class. This goal would have been almost impossible without the support and guidance from my teachers, Mr. Gunther, Mr. Ross and Ms. Shibalia, as well as my friends and family. I want to take a moment to thank the class of 2020 for making these years some of the best of my life. These five years at EHCCS have been such an adventure with you all and I am heartbroken to see it come to an end. I would also like to thank both of my parents for supporting me through everything, as well as always pushing me to do my best. You both have not only supported me academically, but in my commitment to dance as well. I am forever grateful to have such amazing parents that are there to help me work harder, improve, and provide me with such incredible opportunities. I love you both with my whole heart, and I am so happy to have you in my life. As well as my parents, I want to thank my grandma. She is one of the strongest women I know, and I look up to her every day. She is so strong-willed and isn't afraid to speak her mind, and I admire that so much. I love you, Grandma. As I look to the future, I admit that I am a bit nervous about high school, but I know that the experience will be something special and incredible. There are many challenges to high school, but I firmly believe that anything we set our minds to, we will be able to accomplish. I have lived in Egg Harbor City my entire life, and I couldn't be more proud of this small but mighty town of outstanding people, and I couldn't be happier that I live here. For all these reasons that I have mentioned, I want to congratulate the class of 2020 on this amazing achievement. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Rowan Aylwin. Hello. You already know me, but starting off with a greeting is always fun. There's a quote I feel everyone should know. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Oscar Wilde. 
I was a shy kid growing up. A cute one, but a shy one. It took me till about the second grade before I got out of my shell a little bit. And am I glad I did. I have no idea where I'd be without my friends dealing with the taste of insanity that is me. Of course, this chaos didn't truly start until about fifth grade, but that's not important. I've watched those around me mature and I felt myself do it too. But that's to be expected as time passes and everyone grows. I've been in the school district my entire life, so I've been with the majority of the people I'm graduating with for a long time. Naturally, people have come and gone. That happens. But the ones worthwhile have stuck around and are taking the necessary steps to make a great future for themselves. The materials I was given by every teacher I've ever had are amazing, and without them I wouldn't be giving this speech today. I have a short attention span. Anyone who has hung out with me for more than a day knows that. But I have always been engaged in learning new things no matter what they are or how difficult they may be. As for the future, I don't have a single clue what I'm doing, where I want to go, or who I want to be. But that's all right. I have four more years of mandatory learning, which gives me enough time to figure it out. And if I don't know what I'm going to do after high school, well, uh, I'll just have to see where life takes me. Hello, graduates and families. Congratulations to the class of 2020. All year, I've been envisioning giving my class of 2020 graduation speech, but never in a million years did I think it would be remotely from my office at Sprague. This pandemic has surely rocked our world and our community, but it has also brought us back to some very basics. Here's what it has taught me, and I hope maybe you have learned some of these very valuable lessons as well. Take the time to slow down. Look around you and recognize what's important, your family, your friends, and your health. Work hard at school, work hard at everything, even when no one is watching, and that you can learn something from every situation. You can even learn when you're sitting at your kitchen table. Don't take the little opportunities for granted. Jump in when you get to high school, get involved, make new friends, have new experiences, don't take anything for granted. I wish you all the best of luck next year at high school. This is not how we had hoped our school year would end, but we are proud of every single one of you and all that you have accomplished this school year. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Hello and welcome. The first award of the night will be the Fannie D. Rittler Memorial Award. This award goes to the student that shows the most improvement. This student this year has dedicated herself to her studies and really stepped up her game. The award this year goes to Janie McDermott. Congratulations, Janie. The next award is the Knights of Columbus Award. This award goes to a student who has shown unity and charity to others. The award this year goes to Angelise Rivera. Congratulations, Angelise. The third award I'll be presenting is the American Legion Award. This award goes to two students who are adaptable and on the ball. And these two students this year are very deserving of that. The two students are Alana Crossan and Justin Castillo. Congrats, guys. The next award would be the Braces Award. And it is sponsored by a local orthodontist who always supports our school and our students. This award goes to the student who has the willingness to work hard, accept responsibility, and desire to achieve academically. The award this year goes to Chantal Oval Soriano. Congratulations, Chantal. Next up is Mr. Ross, who will be presenting the next set of awards. Hi, everyone. Uh, congratulations to all our graduates. Uh, here for the next set of awards, but before I do that, I always take this opportunity to recognize our Honor Society students. Uh, normally, if they were up on stage, you'd be able to see uh, who they were from their gold tassels. Uh, but being at home, we don't have that recognition. So I want to give them a shout out right now. Our Honor Society members for the class of 2020 are Alana Crossan, Anthony Armstrong, Ariana Chan Castillo, Jesse Lainice, Christina Heisner, Croy Wirtz, Dejali Maldonado, Grace White, Kashmala Ahmed, 
Kenya McReynolds, Leah Kelly, Rowan Alwyn, Samari Dean, Talia Daniels, Tyler Cannon, and Will Perez. So congratulations to all graduating members uh, of our Honor Society. I'll start with the EHCCS Sportsmanship Award. This goes to two students who have displayed leadership qualities and respected and inspired others in the class and on sports teams. The two recipients are Cameron Bernard and Laskaya Winters. Congratulations. I'll keep with the sports theme and uh, I will give the Crusaders Awards. Uh, the Crusaders Awards are for those individuals who have uh, participated in the most Crusaders uh, sports uh, over their time here in elementary and middle school. Uh, I am also going to be giving Gavin's Award. Gavin's Award is given in memory of uh, Gavin who uh, unfortunately lost his life many years ago but was a huge Crusaders fan and uh, participant in uh, our baseball program. The Crusaders Awards go to Cameron Bernard, Laskaya Winters, and Niasia Hill. Our Gavin's Award is going to Cameron Bernard. So congratulations, everyone. Next, I am giving the Beatrice Mays Award. And the Beatrice Mays Scholarship is given to uh, a student who enjoys math and willingly solves problems. Uh, they verbalize the methods of solving those math problems, and they also are excited to share their solutions to those problems. And that award goes to Kashmala Ahmed. Next up is the Kiwanis Service Award. This is given to a student who has demonstrated service to his school and his classmates. The Kiwanis Service Award is given to Will Perez. Next on my list is the Democratic Club Award. This award is giving, uh, given to the individual who had the highest average in science in eighth grade. And that award goes to Grace White. Finally, on my long list, I have the Eric Loud Memorial Award. And this is given to the male student who with the highest average in science. And coincidentally, was our second highest in the class in science. And that is given to Croy Worse. <clears throat> congratulations to all of our winners and congratulations to the class of 2020. And now here is Mr. Wyra to continue our award ceremony. Congratulations, class of 2020. I have a few awards to present to you. And the first award is the EHCEA Unsung Hero Award. This is a student who has been a shining example, a student who was just in the crowd, but always did the right thing. And over the years, I've never seen this student say a bad thing to anyone, and he's always had a smile on his face. And that student is Tyler Cannon. Congratulations, Tyler. The second award is the Masonic Lodge Award. These are students who have shown considerable effort. These are two students who always worked hard and it has been a pleasure to see them grow over the years. And those two students are Oliver Kirschman and Kenya McReynolds. Congratulations. And finally, I have the Rotary Club Award. And their slogan is service above self. This award goes to two students who are involved in serving the school community. And the two recipients are Dayalith Maldonado and Katobi Collier. Congratulations. And next, I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Gunther for the next set of awards. Congratulations, class. Thank you, Mr. Wyra, and good evening. The first award I am tasked with handing out uh, this evening is the Egg Harvest City Parent Teacher Organization Award. This award is given to two students who have demonstrated leadership amongst their classmates. And I can say that these two students have consistently uh, demonstrated positive leadership and respect amongst their peers. This year, the EHC PTO Award goes to Anthony Armstrong and Samari Dean. Congratulations. My next award I'm handing out is the Atlantic Cape Community College Award. The ACC award is given 
uh, to honor students who have provided service to the Air Cover City community and their peers. The student receiving this award this year has participated in every National Junior Honor Society event serving the community of Egg Harbor City. This year's ACC award goes to Ariana Chan Castillo. Congratulations, Ariana. The next award I will be handing out is the Egg Harbor City Education Foundation Awards. First award is the uh, Rose Moore Whole Student Award the Rose Moore Award was developed to honor this longtime, well-respected and much loved teacher of the Egg Harbor City Public Schools. Ms. Moore wanted every eighth grade student to be eligible to receive this award that reflects her teaching style to nurture self-esteem in all of her students, regardless of their academic abilities. This year, the Rose Moore Award goes to Janae Tinsley Ferrer. Congratulations. The second Ed Foundation Award that I will be giving out is the uh, Miss Gwilly Thieler Award. This award honors the former Charles L. Sprague principal, a nurse, teacher, and principal. Mrs. Thieler was an ardent supporter of technology in our classrooms, as well as a valuable school leader who embodied the importance of continued personal growth in education. The 2020 Grilly Feeler Award is being given to Max Trena. Congratulations, Max. The next award that I will be handing out is the Egg Harbor City Republican Club Award. This award is given to the student with the highest average in English language arts. This student excels in all aspects of English language arts um, and absolutely had the highest average. Congratulations this year to Rowan Alwyn. The last award that I will be handing out, the honor of handing out is the Mayor's Award. The Mayor's Award is given to students who have shown marked leadership, service, and sportsmanship in all areas of school and community in Egg Harbor City. This year, the students receiving the Mayor's Award are Alana Crossan, Talia Daniels, Chesarina Linus, and Grace White. Congratulations to the four of you. I'd like to take this opportunity now to congratulate the entire class of 2020 on your accomplishments and good luck in the future. Now I'd like to introduce Ms. Mary Baldini for the remainder of our awards. Hello class of 2020. Congratulations to all of you. The first award I'll be presenting is the Joan Rutellini Memorial Award. This award is awarded to a student who has worked hard, helped other students with their classes, and has kept an AB grade average. This student is truly a hard worker and always has a smile on her face. This award goes to Talia Daniels. Congratulations, Talia. The next award is the Education Foundation Art Award. It is awarded to a student that Miss Roberts wants to recognize for her outstanding skills and dedication. The award goes to Dawn Hallman. Congratulations, Dawn. The next award is the Education Foundation Music Award. It is awarded to a student that Miss Lake wants to recognize for her love of music and commitment to it. The award goes to Christina Heisner. Congratulations, Christina. That concludes the award presentation. Congratulations to everyone. It is now time for the presentation of the class of 2020. Here again is Mr. Griffith, principal of the Egg Harbor City Community School. Congratulations to all of our award recipients, Board of Education members, Superintendent Shulby, District Administration, faculty and staff, honored guests, and parents and family members of the class of 2020. It is with great pride that I present to you 
the Egg Harbor City Community School Class of 2020. At this time, let us recognize each and every one of them. Ashmala Ahmed, Jarvan Alvarez Morano, Anthony Armstrong, Rowan Elwin, Cameron Bernard, Naeem Burrell. Tyler Cannon, Justin Castillo, Olivia Pucci, Ariana Chan Castillo, Katobi Collier, Alana Crossan, Talia Daniels. Samari Dean, Joseph Devono, Kayla Hardin Jones, Isaiah Harrell Ragsdale, Amir Harris, Niasia Hill, Dawn Holman. Christina Heisner, Michael Jackson, Leah Kelly, Oliver Kirschman, Chesarina Lenice, Abdil Leva Ortiz, Davianis Lopez. Deja Leith Maldonado, Michaela Maldonado, Christopher McAfee, Janie McDermott, Amon McLaughlin, Kenya McReynolds, Chantal. Ovaya Soriana, Aline Parks, William Perez, Angelis Rivera, Imani Taylor, John A. Tinsley Ferreira, Maximilian Trena. Joseph Tunez, Amir Vance, Croy Wirtz, Grace White, Andre Wilson, Laskaya Winters. Hi, it's Cory Booker, the senator from our great state of New Jersey. And I wanted to record a message for all of our eighth grade graduates here in our great garden state. And I am grateful, first and foremost, to the whole community that made this important graduation possible. From parents to teachers, faculty, staff, administrators, custodial staff, people working in cafeterias, it took so many people working together to support our young folks to get to this great graduation. And to the class of 2020, your grit and your goodness, uh, your struggle and even sacrifice that made this day possible, it is laying a foundation for you for an incredible high school experience. 
you all are actually a part of my unconquerable faith in our future. I believe in you and all the infinite possibilities that you have for your journey, and I congratulate you. I celebrate you. I am deeply proud of you and how you're making us, through your work, you're making us even more Jersey strong. Hello, graduates. I would like to introduce Jerry Harris. He attended Navarro College in Texas, where he was a member of the cheerleading team. Jerry is one of the stars of Netflix hit series, Cheer. He has appeared and been a guest on several TV shows, including The Ellen DeGeneres Show, The Tamron Hall Show, and NBC's Today Show. In February 2020, Ellen DeGeneres announced that Harris would be the Ellen DeGeneres' show's Oscar correspondent, where he interviewed many celebrities, including Brad Pitt and Billie Eilish. He is known for his eccentric and over-the-top mat talk, a cheerleading term in which he yells and cheers on other people. Hey, Egg Harbor City Community School. I know you guys are having an eighth grade graduation. And I just want to say I'm so proud of each and every one of you kids. You guys are so amazing. You guys are so resilient. And I'm just so happy for all that you guys have done. You guys are loved and supported so much by all your friends and family and including all of your teachers and staff at the school. The staff misses you guys so much. And I want you guys to just remember to set goals going forward and always look for the future and not focus on what you missed or what didn't happen. Always look forward to what's going to happen in the future. Okay. And I want to wish you guys the best of luck as you guys are all heading to high school and just let you know that all the staff, um, at your school will miss you guys and are rooting for you guys as well. And we'll always be there. If you guys ever want to talk or chat or anything, you guys are awesome and amazing in every single way. And I wish you guys nothing but the best. Congratulations class of 2020. You guys are awesome. Hey, eighth grade class of Egg Harbor Middle. I'm Rick Lovato, long snapper for the Philadelphia Eagles. I just want to congratulate you guys on your graduation. Don't let these tough times take away from your, all your hard work and your accomplishments from this year. Hope you guys have a great summer and good luck in high school. Fly, Eagles, fly. Congratulations, eighth grade. You guys did it in arguably one of the most unique school years ever. I just want to wish each and every one of you all of the success you guys deserve in high school and beyond. Just remember, stay focused, work hard, and you guys are going to achieve great things. Congratulations again. Congrats, class of 2020. You did it. Good luck in high school. Have fun. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good luck in high school. I miss you guys. Congratulations, eighth graders. I am extremely proud of you. I'm going to miss you guys so much next year. Don't forget to come back and visit. Congratulations and good luck in high school. Hey class of 2020, I just wanted to say congratulations and good luck. Congratulations eighth grade. Good luck at Cedar Creek. Congratulations class of 2020, I'm very proud of you. Good luck next year in high school. Make sure you keep in touch. Hey eighth graders, just want to say congratulations and good luck in high school. Congratulations eighth graders, class of 2020. Best of luck next year, bye. Hey eighth graders. Hopefully you got dressed for the occasion like I did. Uh, it stinks that we weren't able to be in the classroom to end the school year together, but I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all your accomplishments, uh, and I know the best is yet to come. So congratulations, and uh, looking forward to seeing what you do in high school. Congratulations to the 2020 eighth grade class. Great job, guys. Congratulations, class of 2020. Best of luck to you in high school. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so proud of you, and I know you'll go on to do great things. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good luck in high school, and you'll be missed. Congratulations, class of 2020, and best wishes always. Congratulations to the first group of students I taught in Ed Carver City's fourth grade. You don't need it, but good luck with high school. Hi, I wanted to congratulate the eighth grade class of 2020. Hello, class of 2020. Congratulations on your graduation. My hope is that you achieve every dream you have. Take care. Congratulations, Egg Harbor City Community School Class of 2020. Best of luck in high school and we will miss you. I'm so proud of all of you and I can't wait to see all the amazing things you guys do in high school. I'm really gonna miss you. Please come back and visit. Congratulations. Congratulations, Egg Harbor City Community School 2020 graduates. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Best of luck in high school. 
and uh, make sure you come back and visit. We'll miss you guys. Congratulations, graduates. Hello, eighth graders, and congratulations on your graduation. I wish you much success and happiness in high school and beyond. Congratulations, class of 2020. The community school will miss you. Make sure you come back and visit. Congratulations, Egg Harbor City Community School, class of 2020, and best of luck in high school. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm gonna miss you all. Best of luck in high school, and don't forget to come back for a visit. Hi, eighth grade. Congratulations. What a crazy year it's been, but you made it. Best of luck in the future, and be sure to come back and say hi. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so proud of every one of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Don't forget to come see us when you're in high school. Congratulations on graduating. I'm very proud of you, and good luck in high school. Hello, eighth graders. It has been my honor to work with you guys this year. Although the year has not ended the way we planned, we are still finishing it strong. Best of luck to the eighth grade class of 2020 and good luck on your next chapter, high school. You guys are gonna have a great time. Miss you all. Congratulations class of 2020. Best of luck in high school and we're all going to miss you. Congratulations class of 2020. This is a great accomplishment and you should be very proud of yourselves. Good luck in all of your future endeavors. Congratulations. Congratulations to my first students at the community school. I can't wait to see all the great things that you guys do. Hey, class of 2020, congratulations. Have a great summer and have a great four years of high school. Hats off to the class of 2020. Congratulations and go Knights. <laughs>that is our virtual graduation program. Congratulations to every single member of the community school class of 2020. We all wish you the very best of luck in high school. Please stay safe and we wish you a happy and healthy summer. Thank you so much and have a good evening.